The newest entrant in the unmanned aerial systems market made its maiden flight this month. Piaggio Aero's P1HH Hammerhead is novel in that it started life as a piloted passenger aircraft, the P180 Avanti. And it looks set to be part of a growing trend for optionally piloted aircraft adapted for an assortment of military and civil missions. I think it fits uh, above the existing male categories. I think the plane is uh, performing very differently than the existing males. It is a twin engine. It comes from a certified platform. It can speed up to 365 knots. It can loiter at 140 knots. He has a 16 hours range uh, endurance. And uh, to be honest, uh, anti-ice, all weather capabilities, I think it will fit perfectly well, to be honest with you. Piaget will be busy throughout 2014 completing certification of the Hamhead. It's working in partnership with Italian electronics group Selex to complete all aspects of the system's integration. They are the data, they are in the unmanning systems, they are in the fraud ground control station, they are an important partner, and together we are providing, a, I think, a fantastic uh, system to the market. The most difficult thing was to make this aircraft fly by wire. So it was not, and now it is. And the second most difficult thing was to make it unmanned. So we had to complete two missions, very difficult missions, and the technical department was outstanding in uh, two years, which is unique, I think. So now, 2014, we're fully dedicated to the certification of the prototype. This is a proof of concept, and this is going to be the prototype will look like this. And we have to be humble, we have to focus, and we have to be committed to the certification, which is given by and provided by the Italian Air Force by the end of 2014. Meanwhile, in the United Arab Emirates, ADCOM has built up an impressive family of UAVs adapted for all sorts of special mission roles. The newest addition to this family, unveiled at the Dubai Air Show, is the Global Yabhon UAV. It's a high altitude, long endurance model. As you see, it can carry six and a half ton, can fly over 40 hours, high altitude, and it has 18 parts that uh, carrying places. And we uh, equipped it with uh, long range radar missiles. It has two SARS radars. The Abu Dhabi based company has kept the new large drone largely under wraps, but it will soon be ready to fly it. The wind tunnel is it's already tested. We have United 40 actually, and it's a derivative from there. It's our know how technology, it's uh, the twin wings or the wing, the, the four wingers called. In six months, definitely, you will see the global Yabhun flying. We will have two uh, aircraft. As we said a long time ago, our objective to capture the world market, we, this is our goal, and I think we are going to that direction. Definitely, we have several uh, aircraft, uh, our UAVs, for different uh, customers and different market for sure. ADCOM has just donated some of its smaller United 40 UAVs to work with the United Nations in a variety of environmental and humanitarian projects. But we'd like to do something for, uh, for humanitarian aids and things. And we found out that the best uh, things to fit with United 40 is to uh, donate uh, up to 200 million dirhams for United Nations uh, aircraft that can help uh, for natural disasters, border control, and other things that's needed. I hope we will be uh, part of the uh, United Nations support around the world. So high profile UAVs like the Global Hawk and Predator still may dominate the market. But what's clear with the arrival of new models like this is that the sector is becoming far more diverse and competitive. For AINTV, I'm Charles Alcock.